I'm Palmer Payne, WNEW News, on the Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of adventure with Richard Widmark as your host. Here's a preview. In any way, they wasted a team of buffalo. You mean this whole mess is over a team of wasted buffalo? Well, they belong to Jop, the chief elder of the village. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Can you complete the title of this Frank Sinatra song, Pocket Full of Blank? That's all you have to do if we call you to become eligible to see Frank in Atlantic City April 15th. WNEW and Resorts International are sending eight lucky couples to see Sinatra. Enjoy a great night at the hotel and $100 in cash. Just send your name, address, and your home or work number to a WNEW touch of class. Almost any time between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., we may call you and give you a Sinatra song title to complete. Do it correctly and you win $11.30 and eligibility in our concert drawings. And on April 16th, William B. will pick one entry from all cards received for a weekend in Las Vegas with Sinatra at Caesars Palace. Send your cards to a WNEW Touch of Class, Box 1130, Grand Central Station, New York. Do it right away. By the way, the title I was looking for was Pocket Full of Miracles. Of course. This is Howard Dodd speaking for Richard Widmark. The sun is setting on Bac Ha, a small village in Vietnam. The dusty streets glow pink now between the thatched roofs of the mud huts. People in the stalls and timbered doorways watch the progress of Jop, the farmer, the holy man, the chief elder of Bac Ha, as he leads his fine buffalo bulls homeward. Now, leading elements of Charlie Company, 5th Mechanized Infantry, roll under the carved gates of Bac Ha. The watches become tense now. What will the holy man do? Pull him over, will you? You better hoof it, old man. Hey, three buddies got dusted off today. I mean it. Make way, you old goat. Look at this setup. Ambush City. They got it fighting your war, old man. We gotta get the hell out of Dodge, Joe. I'm gonna blow that old crank away. You can't do that. Yeah, but I can do this. The holy man shivers in an alley, staring after the mangled remains of his fine beasts. The terror lifts from his face, but his features turn to stone. The G.I.s will pay. The G.I.s must pay. And that's only the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, A Short History of Bacha by Andy Nance. Our stars, Tommy Cook and Keith Andes. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. This year, my mom is dressing me up in pretty things from the Sunny Bunch collection at Sears. That's right. She'll look fresh and feminine in these dresses and separates. I can choose from frilly, colorful dresses, bouncy skirts, pants, and just the right coordinating tops. Sizes 7 to 14 in easy care fabric that's machine washable. Whether I'm going to a birthday party or just school, my Sunny Bunch clothes make me feel special. You are special. Thanks, Mom. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. How long do your pantyhose last? Do you want the answer in minutes or hours? You should try Sears Endurables. The pantyhose that lasted an average of 18 days of normal wear in a test with 400 women. The women in our test wore Endurables day after day after day and as a group averaged 18 days. A patented process makes them strong so they last. And sheer, so they look great. No pantyhose lasts forever. How long do your pantyhose last? Endurables, at larger Sears retail stores. 
Tell us the one about Robux jeans, old-timer. You mean genuine Robux jeans from Sears? Checks. The Western way of life begins in a pair of authentic Western Robux jeans. Made out of hard-working denim? Roping calves, wrestling steers? Why, that's the kind of action heavyweight Robux was made for. Hey, how about looks? Well, whether you're a rodeo star or a city dude, permapress Robux helped give that neat, rugged cowboy look. Robux, the men's jeans that won the Golden West at most larger Sears retail stores. Morning comes to Kuchi, the army firebase just south of the village of Bakha. The sun is already high and steaming the triple canopy clouds here. That's normal, but there's something else. Something disturbing here, too. There's Captain Dawson, for one, charging over the tank trails that ring this firebase. Hey, Private, I want a word with you. Yes, sir. Next time report, sir. Damn it, Private. Don't salute me on the bunker line. You want to get me snipered? Oh, no, sir. Never mind. No sniper would take that for a salute anyway. What is going on around here? Well, sir, we're rebuilding this bunker. Uh, me and my crew, that is. I know that, Private. These goops been giving you any trouble? My crew? Oh, never. Why, Captain? Well, nearly had a mutiny at Bravo Bunker. You know anything about that? Uh, what, what, sir? This goop revolution has hit this base. Now, half of them didn't show up for work this morning. The rest came to make trouble. You know anything about that? I think so, sir. How? Well, they told me, sir. Hey, Mama-san, what's all this buzz about, huh? Private, what's wrong with these gooks? They don't speak English, sir. Well, if they don't speak English and you don't speak gook, how do you tell them anything? Sign language? No, sir. I I really don't know, sir. I'll ask Bao. Why can we talk to each other, Babao? We care for you, Howie. We have magic words. You care for us? You have magic words. Strong magic. Better than dreams. Very strong magic, Alvi. What did she say? I don't know, sir. Inscrutable, aren't they? I'm over here, Private. Now, every linguist we got couldn't get a hint about this. But you say you know something about it. So lay it on me. Yes, sir. Well, yesterday, some soldiers came through the village on big track vehicles. And they must have been on some highly frustrating mission because they... Just stick to the facts. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. And anyway, they wasted a team of buffalo. You mean this whole mess is over a team of wasted buffalo? Well, they belong to Jop, the chief elder of the village. So what? Well, sir, he's like the colonel. He, he's like I, our... I... I get the picture. And they made quite a mess, sir. The Vietnamese have a lot of civic pride, and but with the blood and the gore... I and... get the picture, Private. Now, how long's this old man's temper tantrum going to last? Well, he'll have to get some satisfaction, I guess. These gooks know this Zop fellow? Yes, sir. Okay, Private, you go talk to them, and I'll tell you what to say. Sir... What now? Well, when you speak of Zop, would you please say Ong Zop and, and try not to use the word gook. Okay. Right. Babao, my captain wants me to ask you some questions. Let him ask his own question. Oh, Babao, please. He, he really wants to help. Oh, very well. Ask her if Zop reported this incident to us. Has Ong Zop told his trouble to the soldiers at the gate? Why, of course not. What did she say? Uh, farmers don't speak to soldiers. Don't get smart, Private. Yeah, but, but they don't, sir. Look, Private, you have got to persuade her that we can't clear this mess up unless we contact Ong Zop. Now ask her if we can go into the village and speak with him. Oh, no way, sir. 
I'll decide that private. Ask the question. All right, sir. Babao, will Ang Zap consider holding audience with us? Ang Zap, I entertained the idea of audience with you for a number of days. I have spoken to him about you. Ong Jap would be very pleased to meet you, even in this bad season. Come here, Private. What was she saying? Well, sir, she says Ong Zap will meet with me, but not with you. What in the Sam hell? Hey, hey, listen, will you? She's invited me to meet with the elders. Now, there's no refusing such an invitation. To do so would cut them off from me. I, I couldn't work with them again. Okay, okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. Tell those goots to take off. When you get back from the gate, get yourself shaped up. And by all means, polish those boots. I'm sure the old man will want to see you, and he'd flip if he sees you like that. Sir, when am I supposed to tell Bao? You weren't here last June, were you? Well, no, sir. I, I don't I don't see what that's got to do yeah, with it. Yeah, I thought so. Two grunts slipped across a perimeter. For some women, I guess. And we found them in the morning hanging in barbed wire. Three guesses, Private. What's the old man going to say about this? Uh, you have no idea, sir, how important this is. Private, if it was up to me, I'd take you there myself. You are a washout, Private. A total washout. Y you could mess up a one-truck convoy. Now, I think it's high time you did something around here in terms of your whole act. Yeah, I'd let you go. You'd come back dead or a silver. Either way, that's one hell of an improvement. Yeah. What can you tell that old bag? You're not going. That's what you can tell her. Why? Because that's the way it works around here. We don't send duds into combat. We let them play in the sand. Did I get through? You are not going. Let's try some word association. In. Out. Top. Bottom. Paint. House. What? Oh, the whole house needs painting. Hmm. On. Off. That's it. Sears $4 off paint sale on each gallon of interior fashion flat, semi-gloss, and ceiling paint, plus exterior flat house paint. I'll uplift my home and my spirits by painting new life inside and out. Hard. Easy. Their one-coat paints when used as directed. And now, $4 off. Sale ends April 21st at most Sears retail stores. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Today's man of action wants slacks that look good, feel comfortable. And at Sears, you'll find great fitting slacks with dash and durability. What really makes it all happen is Fortrell polyester gabardine, woven with two-way stretch that moves with you through a day's worth of action. In popular solid colors a man can feel comfortable with. Any way you look at it, these stretch-woven permapressed slacks hold up handsomely to a hard-driving summer. That's style, sense, and satisfaction at most larger Sears retail stores. Today, more women are celebrating that all-American style. And what could be more American than shirt dresses, making a big return this spring? Sears Dress Department has them in the great new versions, only $17.99 each. Think of menswear shirting gone dress length. Pull close at the waist for a real American accent. Stripes, plaids, checks and chambrays, and easy care cotton and polyester. Mrs. Petite and half sizes available at most larger Sears retail stores. Only $17.99 each while quantities last. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. They stood there silently The old Vietnamese woman The young American soldier After a few moments She approached him Did he insult you? He was afraid I'd get hurt You may be right There could be some danger There were some young men in the village this morning They wore clothes like my son but it is said they are not choose men. But no problem. You can walk to the village with us. You come now. I, I can't go now. But I'll be there. I'll get there for sure. You come with us right now. I'll be there, Babao. Let me try the best way first. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I will. Just trust me. I'll come. Tonight. For sure. <laughs> Private X 
Eckstein, Private Eckstein. I've been hearing your name everywhere. All Captain Dawson talks about this evening is Private Eckstein. The same with Lieutenant Ozorowitz. The same with Tom. I-, I gotta go see Colonel Marshall. I know, I know. The Colonel wants you front and center at 1,900 hours. Even the old man has Private Eckstein on his mind. All this worries me, Eckstein. You know why? I gotta convince him to let me go into the village. It worries me because all these people are talking about Eckstein. And I don't know what's going down with Mr. Eckstein. And when they talk about Eckstein, they're talking about me. Eckstein's my man. I own Mr. Eckstein, lock, stock, and barrel. You read me, Eckstein. Now, what's the buzz? Well, sir, something awful happened in the village. Two grunts wasted the chief elder's buffalo. So Captain Dawson made me find out about it. And one of the old women, uh, her name is Bao, asked me... Well, she invited me to the village tonight to talk with the elders. And I gotta do it, Sergeant. I gotta. They'll, they'll really be hurt if I don't. I've got to convince the colonel. And you gotta help me, Sergeant. We gotta convince the old man. He'll never listen to me, and, and he's got to listen, Sergeant. Now, we can do it together. He'll listen Eckstein, if you and me... Eckstein, at ease. I got the story. Look, Eckstein, I'm going to give you some fatherly advice because this is Vietnam, and I'm your big daddy over here. If you don't follow it, you can spend the rest of the war cleaning latrines. I've been in the Army 17 years, and I never told a field grade officer anything. When they ask to see you, they've already made whatever decision is going to be made. So, Eckstein, grow up. You're going in there, and you're going to listen, not talk. You're going to say yes, sir, to whatever he tells you because you're going to expect to hear the worst. And forget those gooks. I'm sure you'll find something around here for you to do besides honchoing gooks. Now, there's plenty to do. Now, get your weapon and meet me in the orderly room. Yes, Sergeant. Hey, Jackson. I've got guard duty tonight. Watch Eckstein for me, will you? He's crazy enough to try to slip past the bunker line. He's a fool. <laughs> Eckstein report, sir. Eckstein, someday I'm going to teach you how to salute an officer. What's... Is that a gleam I see in those... What happened? Did you spill some polish? No, 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 Colonel Marshall, sir. Well, anyway, what have you decided? Are you going to town this evening? I, I didn't know I had a choice, sir. I know you didn't, but now you know. I'm the one who has no choice in this matter. There'll never come a day when I order a dud into combat... But I can't have a hostile village a mile from my perimeter, and you seem to be the only man around here with an answer. So I simply don't have a choice. It's only the duds in this man's army that have choices. I'll need a gate pass, sir. Before you make up your mind, you need to know some things. First of all, I've checked out your story with G2, and they tell me you might be right. They also said a VC propaganda team moved into the village last night, so you could be wrong. But I want you to know there's a war going on. Dawson tells me you're pretty chummy with these gooks around here. He thinks you might be deluded. He doesn't think I should send you into a hostile village at night. I agree. I'm not sending you in there. I'm giving you a choice. Nevertheless, I feel compelled... Yes, Eckstein. Compelled to inform you there's a war going on. You're out in the big, bad world, Eckstein, in a real, live war. People get killed here every day. And Eckstein, this is the nitty-gritty. You can't expect everybody to love you anymore, you understand? Nobody out here is going to love you. Least of all these gooks. Now think about that. Well, what have you decided? I'm going. Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. All right, it's question and answer time. I know the questions, you know the answers, or do you? First question, who is the detective hero created by a famous female British mystery writer? Mm, I don't know. Right. Second question, which author was a creator of Sam Spade and a close friend of Lillian Hellman? Uh, Martin Mayonnaise. Correct for a thousand bobolinks. Third question. What is the name of the greatest killer of all time? Oh, oh, Al Capone. Bugsy Malone. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, 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 bullets. Correct for a thousand bobolinks. 
The greatest killer of all time is heart and blood vessel disease. It's no joke. More people die of heart and blood vessel disease each year than of all other causes of death combined. We'd like to change that. We're the American Heart Association. Call us to find out where free blood pressure screenings are being held. Remember, we're fighting for your life. I'm lost and lonely, scared and sad. Trembling at the thought of making you mad My love is yours, but at times you're so cold If life's like this, take me before I grow old This song was written by a man now serving time in a state prison Most of the men and women in prison today were abused children And many abused children grow up to abuse their own children Child abusers can be helped. Find out how. Write Prevent Child Abuse, Box 2866, Chicago, Illinois, 60690. Please stop the hurt. I've suffered since my birth. Join the abused child's fight. Put an end to the sleepless night. A message of the Ad Council and the National Committee for Prevention of Child Abuse. Private Eckstein, a young man of sympathy and courage. Private Eckstein, known by some as a fool. Private Eckstein, prepared to risk his life to keep some semblance of peace in the midst of insanity. Well, what have you decided? I'm going. Why, Eckstein? Never mind. I don't want to know. Now let's get down to business. And what's it going to take to satisfy this Jap fella? I don't know, sir. Well, you promise him anything he wants. The old goat's got us over a barrel. Your job is not to bargain. Your job is to report to me exactly where, when, and how much. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, the, that's the first step to getting you back here alive. The next is neutralizing that propaganda team. There's around six gooks in one of those outfits. They're a shrewd bunch, but they only carry handguns. I think you and two rangers can handle any firefight, but the key, Eckstein, is not to let them get close in. I don't think they'll try to waste you. They count three rifles. The main thing, Eckstein, is you got to stay alive. Now, the rangers know their business. You're our only connection with Papasan, so I want you to draw about 60 magazines of ammo. Let me see your weapon. Oh, damn, Eckstein. You can't go into combat with a weapon like this. Here, take mine. If you plan to come back, you better have it with you. I know what I'm doing, damn you. What are you trying to do, get me killed? You never asked me you what... You want a courts, Marshal Private? Yeah, I apologize for my language, sir, but I want to... You're just... insubordinate, Private. Are you going to listen to me, sir? I have no intention of listening to you. I've had enough about you. You're dismissed. This is not going to work, sir. The Vietnamese... That's quite I... enough, Private. You're dismissed. you got to hear me out. I can have the guards haul you out of here right now, and that's what this is coming to. I don't give a damn. You're a coward if you don't hear me out. I'm not going to call the guards. I'm going to throw you out myself. You are a coward because my way will work and your way never worked, and you don't want to hear about it. You're right, Eckstein. I don't want to hear about it. Well, then you're a coward. A... At ease, Eckstein. I'll hear what you got to say. I'll hear it. Then I'm going to read you your rights, handcuff you, and lead you to the stockade. You'll do about a year for this, Eckstein. It ain't a bit fair, Eckstein, but you understand my position. In my long life, no man lived to call me a coward. But if I was to lay a finger on you, 15 years would be lost. So you're going to pay for it. Not the way I'd have it, but good enough for the likes of you. Fair enough. But you're going to let me see those people first. I think I know a damn sight more about the Vietnamese than you do. In the first place. The right to talk formally with the elders is a high honor. There are thousands of ways to cause insult and abuse. The only thing worse than coming armed is coming with an armed guard. Besides, if you have rangers standing outside the elders' hooch, that propaganda team will have the whole village convinced we've wasted the elders. A propaganda team won't shoot an unarmed man in public. It's bad showmanship. Now, it's got to be done my way. I can do what you've asked me to do, but they aren't Indians, and we aren't cowboys. Oh, yes, there's a war going on. But it isn't between me and Jop. After this, I truly don't care. I'd be sending to certain death. Do you understand? The other way won't work. I mean, they won't even talk to you. They don't trust you. They want to talk to me. My way is the only way. 
We make a combat mission out of it and it won't work. Now, if you don't let me go, you are a coward. Yeah, it's that simple. Eckstein, you're going to have to understand this. You're not old enough to see it yet, but you're going to have to try. I used to think, that is, I've always told myself, there's a, a fine line between what's truly courageous and what's foolish. I was wrong. No such line exists. If it succeeds, it's an act of courage. If it fails, it's foolishness. To be a coward or to be a fool, that's the choice. These regulations on my desk, I, I can't fight a war with them. I've got to try things. That's how wars are fought. What works wins. What fails is part of the cost. I think I understand. I don't think you do. This is the scenario, Eckstein. The gooks get offended. Sometimes it's imagined. This time it's real. So in comes the VC. Things start happening here on the post. I have to lay off the Vietnamese workers. This makes them unhappier. VC begin to operate from the village. I have to garrison it. Eventually I'll have to reduce it to rubble. You say you know more about them than I do. This is my fourth tour, Eckstein. This thing, exactly this thing, has been happening since I first came over. The events over the next four months will cost this battalion over 50 casualties and about a quarter million in material, if we don't get overrun. After it's done, we're back where we started. That's the way it's always been. And then you, Eckstein, you come in here and offer me a way out. A way out, Eckstein. That's an incredibly dangerous thing to do. I'm going to give you this pass, Eckstein. I, I don't expect you to use it. I don't want you to use it. I think if you do use it, you'll be lost. Get up in the morning and go to your duties. No one will ever say anything to you about this. The option's yours. Yes, sir. The Rangers and whatever equipment you might need are yours as well. I won't need this, sir. When can I expect you back? Tomorrow morning. I'll come in with the workers. If you're not at the gate, I'll, I'll be coming in after you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I watched the coming of Hau V for a very long time. The time it took for the earth to swallow the sun. At first, there were tiny figures struggling along the berms from the firebase to the village. They grew larger as they waded the rice paddies. In the tangerine sun, two raised rifles. Evil omen. I doubted how we then. No good could come from this. Oh, I pray for his safety, but I understood his doom. Then they stopped at village gate. A long moment passed. And then as my heart stopped, the two armed men turned away. How we, alone, unarmed, entered the dark streets of Bakha. His body diminished, he stepped uneasy, all eyes hidden in darkness. And yet I knew, as he walked, he felt them. Then a shadow swallowed him. And when he emerged, he met the young men of whom it was said were not Jews men, idling in a market stall. How he stopped. The young men toyed with their weapons. How he stood still. I saw him then, about to die. I cried out to him. He not move. I ran to him, though I too might die. And he smiled, but could not speak. Then I took his hand to lead him to my father's house. Our steps were heavy. But as we passed, they grew lighter. And when the danger lay behind us, we were weightless. So came how we to Baka. Chuang de Port, we make a song of this. Would you like some rice beer? Oh, thank you, Your Honor. You must be hurry. I am... Trun, a farmer. Uh, this is our leader, Ong um, Shop. I am much too honored by your presence, sir. You need not worry, Howie. 
If you become too honored, we will remind you of your humility. You come at the most opportune time in our conversation. We cannot conceive of the cause of a recent incident. Two young men like yourself came to the village yesterday and committed a most unreasonable crime. They destroyed my two buffalo. They riddled the animals and then drove their machines over them, bloodying these holy streets. We want to know why, are we? I, I don't think I can give you a reason. No one told me why this thing happened. I was sent by my elders to make amends for it, but I don't know why it had to happen. It's a bad season. Alvi, you are young, and of course you do not know, but all the seasons I remember have been bad. I know, Harvey, the question we are asking is difficult. But we must learn the answer before we may proceed. You may meditate, if you like. Your Honor, I have to confess, I don't know how to meditate. We're, we're just lonely men, Your Honor. We come over here puzzled over the reasons we have come. It doesn't even seem to matter. Our Honor is measured by our loved ones. And they're too far away for us even to imagine the distance. Our free minds live with them, talk to them. We're here as machines, machines of war, like the machines that trampled your buffalo. And when the season has come for our return to our villages, then we will be men again. We are men without families, men without guidance. Why did the soldiers execute my buffalo? There was no command given to slaughter the animals. It was... it was like an act of passion. Passion for what? Time, I guess. Time passes very slowly for a soldier. Now, I, I know it's going to be hard for you to understand, but time favors the farmer. It's a... a moral confusion, I guess. I... Oh, I can't find the words for it. Are we? Are we, my son? Y yes. Are we, my son? Are you meditating? No, no, Your Honor. I am inexperienced with rice beer. I Ooh. thought it was a bad idea. You must leave the rest for us to drink. Uh, there was a question in my mind. That is most unusual by our custom. Do they do that in America? Perhaps uh, we too should listen... To the young. Yes, sir. I need to know what we can do to amend the crime we committed. Ah, yes. What do you think you should do? Well, we should give you something of value. How much? As much as you want. How much is that? Well, it should at least equal the value of two water buffalo. Well, maybe more, I guess. Only two water buffalo equal two water buffalo. That is enough. Would you like some money as well? What for? Well, if you didn't want it, you could give it away. I could not keep it. Nor give it to my friends, nor even to my enemies. If money would disorder my life, and I am wise... Then think how disordered it would make my people. And they would not give it to my enemies because I would not want them more disordered than they already are. Besides, in all my experience, there has always been an end to money. But there is no end to the usefulness and productivity of two strong and testicular buffalo. I would take your money because that is what plagues you, but... What would I do with it? I have so much to learn from you. That is true. It is not merely, as you said, about the slayers of my buffalo. It is not simply abandonment that is the cause. The question is why your elders would put so much power in the hands of children. And the answer is you have too much to master. The more one has, the harder it is for him. Just as a big man must work harder to curb his appetites, 
So you either need more mastery or less to master. We have a provider for you, as is our custom. Oh, I, I don't know the custom. We think you will learn it easily enough. We have provided a woman for you. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, get the full power of the maintenance-free Sears 48 battery for a full $7 off its regular low price. The Sears 48. On sale now, just $42.99 with trade-in. And get great savings on Sears' best-selling belted tire, the Dynaglass Belted 25. Now save $14 to $28 on sets of four at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. Tell us the one about Robux jeans, old-timer. You mean genuine Robux jeans from Sears? Shucks, the Western way of life begins in a pair of authentic Western Robux jeans. Made out of hard-working denim? Roping calves, wrestling steers? Why, that's the kind of action heavyweight Robux was made for. Hey, how about looks? Well, whether you're a rodeo star or a city dude, permapressed Robux helped give that neat, rugged cowboy look. Robux, the men's jeans that won the Golden West at most larger Sears retail stores. Your baby's room. Furnish it with the quaintness and charm of Sears Jenny Lynn's crib, dresser, and chest. Your baby will be secure in our old-fashioned crib built with high sides and a safety drop-side latch. And each handsome maple color piece comes in a non-toxic finish. Sears Jenny Lynn dresser and chest is furniture that will adapt gracefully as baby grows older, too. So visit us soon, because Sears has baby buys bundled up. Available at most Sears retail stores. Howard Duff again with the concluding act of a short history of Bakha. Sir. Any sign of Eckstein yet? The guards reported seeing him in a group of Vietnamese out there. He's halfway in, Colonel. Let's go, Captain. We'll pick him up in my Jeep. Yes, sir. There he is, Colonel. Where? That group up ahead. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Mission accomplished, sir. Congratulations, Pratt. Don't salute, please. Oh, yes, sir. You weren't really going to salute me in the middle of a rice paddy, were you, Eckstein? I think he was trying to scratch his nose, sir. I hope so. Eckstein, come over here. Private, for Pete's sakes, where did you leave your rifle? At ease, Dawson. Call it stupidity, call it courage. But this young soldier went into a Vietnamese village at night unarmed. Unarmed? Unarmed. I can't believe it. Uh, what the old goose stick us for, Eckstein? Uh, uh, sir? How much did those two buffalo cost us? You won't believe this, Colonel. Try him, Private. Well... I told Ong Zop to name his price just as he ordered. Good work, son. But get this, sir. He wouldn't take a thin dime. It's worse than I thought. No, sir. All he wants is two more buffalo. That's all? Yes, sir. Good ones, though. Young and strong. Bulls. He uses them for breeding. That's easy. I don't know. He, he won't take money, you say? I saw some good ones near Ki Sing, sir. That village is VC anyway. How are you going to move them, Captain? Deuce and a half, sir. And load them? Crane. Yeah, we got to clear the crane through General Wayrime. No way. Uh, couldn't we buy him, sir? Yeah, that goes through division. Area specialists. We'd be laughed out of the regiment. I don't mind being laughed at. I know Rear Echelon wouldn't stick their necks out. He won't take money, you say? That's right, sir. Look, Eckstein, here's what I want you to do. Turn around and go back to the village. Find Mr. Jop. Tell him like this, see, we're not farmers, so we don't know one buffalo from another. He could end up with a couple of duds if we had to pick them, right? So ask him to shop around. When he finds a pair he likes, tell him to let you know. Then you and Captain Dawson go buy them. We'll buy them on condition the owner delivers. You got that? Uh, I, gee, I, I don't know if they'll see me uninvited, sir. Uh, you don't have to go, son. We can try waiting him out. No, I'll try it, sir. I understand perfectly why you don't want to go back. You must have been through hell. I want to go, sir. 
Well, you don't have to go now. You can put it off for a few days. I'll even give you time off, Eckstein. With all due respect, gentlemen, I really want to finish this up. I understand. Only this time, take this rifle. I can't, sir. I order it, Private. I tried that, Captain. It didn't work. Well, we can't allow it this time, sir. I've got a feeling... Uh, We don't work that way. A hunch, sir. You'll get over it, Captain. Wish me luck, gentlemen. If I don't hear from you before lunch, I'm going to be very concerned. Yes, sir. Ong Chung! Ong Chung! How be? I hoped you were safely inside the barbed wire. Why, yes, Your Honor. I would have been, but there was one more problem I wanted to discuss with Ong Ja. My daughter, Bao, promised you a safe return to the barbed wire. You're in grave danger here, Harvey. Yeah, but Bao performed her duty as best she could, Ong Trung. My problem seems so very important. I hope to present it to Ong Ja while I still stand in his grace. That's not possible, Harvey. Come inside. Sit down. Perhaps if you share this problem and it's not too trifling, I will bear your words to the holy man. Oh, thank you, Ong Trung. Well? Well, my problem is this. We soldiers have no use for the water buffalo. Therefore, we have no experience in procuring them. Uh, very likely, if we sought a pair of water buffalo for Ong Jap, the animals would prove unworthy of his honor's time and care. So, to avoid this misfortune... I wished humbly to ask Ong Jap to choose the animals he most wanted and then to inform me through your daughter, Bob Wao, of their whereabouts. You see, that way we could be sure of finding worthy beasts. Do you find this feasible, Ong Trung? Absolutely not. Oh. Well, may I humbly ask a reason, Your Honor? You may, because you're young. I have no right to expect you to understand obvious. Why, Harvey, do you think... Ong Shop ask of you the one thing you could not give. I, I I don't know, Your Honor. Of course you don't. You're too young. His Honor want nothing from you. Oh, I, I see. Forget the buffalo. Go back to barbed wire. Did you bring arms? No, Your Honor. This once you should sure have. <laughs> Babao, please, I must ask you. Oh, Harvey, how could you do this to me? Babao, forget that and please help me think. How am I going to explain this to the colonel? Oh, the white-haired one. I thought you were safe with him. Now I have lost face with my father, Harvey. Harvey! Yeah. Right. The guard shack called. Our man's on his way. Outstanding. We're on our way. Have medevac standing by. Alert fourth wolfhounds. What happened, sir? Next time's hit. Let's go. Where is he? That clump of villages a hundred yards off. Two o'clock. Shall I open fire, sir? No. You want medevac ordered forward, sir? No. What are they doing, Corporal? They're coming in, sir. Bring up 4th Platoon, Wolfhounds. I want these bunkers bristling. Yes, sir. All out! I want safeties on and weapons unloaded. Yes, sir. They've stopped, sir. Let's go, Dawson. Look, sir. That old man has Eckstein slung across his back. I see. You are burdened, old man. We both are, white-haired G.I. We have paid dearly for peace. We have peace again, old man? The swine who have slain Hauvi and who have stirred my people's anger, they have lost face in our village. I'll open my gates to your people. Does Hauvi have people? I'll send a medal to his mother. She won't be insulted? I hope not, old man. I sincerely hope not. Soldiers have strange ways. If ever there's trouble again, we'll talk. I would be honored. So long, old man. Peace, white-haired one.
This is my first night camping with my family of five. Now I'm really glad I packed my Sears family-style tent. It's Sears' best tent, tested by Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to conquer Mount Everest. This tent stands six feet nine inches in the center and has a sewn-in ten by fourteen foot floor. It sleeps eight, plenty of room for my family, and even the dog. We like the windows that can be zipped shut from the inside, and this large front canopy. Sears' best family-style tent is built to be lived in, and if it's good enough for Hillary, it's good enough for my family. At most larger Sears retail stores. Feel spring's enchantment in lovely daytime dresses from Sears Budget Shop. Dresses that evoke thoughts of spring in their full cut. Soft and flowing as gentle breezes. In colors pretty as rainbow hues. And in styles as varied as wild flowers. All are lightweight textured polyester. You'll feel delightfully feminine in these flowing spring dresses. So visit Sears Budget Shop soon. Spring's already there in full bloom. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Shop where America shops with a Sears credit card. You'll be able to choose from over 100,000 Sears products and services at everyday low prices. Just say charge it. At Sears, it's satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. So visit your Sears store today to apply for your credit card. Or just phone toll-free 800-526-0444. Find out why Sears is where America shops for value. Remember, phone 800-526-0444. In New Jersey, residents call 800-652-2777. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. A Short History of Baca was written by Andy Nance, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Our stars were Tommy Cook and Keith Andes. Also heard were Dawes Butler, Marvin Miller, Lillian Bayef, Tom Drake, Norman Alden, Sam Edwards, and Stanley Director. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. Associate Director of Sears Radio Theater is Ken McManus. Sound effects were created by Bud Tollison. Joanne Thompson is production supervisor. And the recording engineers are Joe Wachter and Hal McDonald. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. What in the World Happened in April, brought to you by your local Navy recruiter. April is Admissions Day for Maryland, admitted in 1788 as our seventh state, and Louisiana, admitted in 1812 as our 18th state. George Washington was sworn in as our first president in April of 1789, and the first U.S. Congress began regular sessions at Federal Hall in New York City. In April of 1860, the first Pony Express run was made from Missouri to California in 10 days. The motto, In God We Trust, was first stamped on all U.S. coins in April of 1864. The Navy's first submarine, the USS Holland, was commissioned in April of 1900. Navy Commander Robert E. Peary and Matthew Henson reached the North Pole in April of 1909. What in the World Happened in April is brought to you by your local Navy recruiter, who will answer your questions about Navy opportunity. Or in the continental United States, call 800-841-8000, toll free. In Georgia, 800-342-5855. Navy, it's not just a job, it's an adventure. Chills run up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. What is happening? I don't know, I guess we're going crazy. You do. Here, drugs. Yes. We've got to get out of this house. I don't know what it is, but we've got to get out. I knew there was something about that picture. Come on, Georgia, hurry. Marion! Marion, look! It's moving. Oh, the lion is coming into this room. Run, Georgia, run! Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Next Monday, Sears Radio Theater will be a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Let's listen. I'm here and now, 
serving notice on the governor that the state of Colorado does not belong to him, but to the nation. I own a share of stock in Colorado, and the governor or his general chase can shoot me, but I will talk from the grave. So be sure and tune in next Monday to the Sears Radio Theater.